two-game series between Extreme and Azure Ray. That looks like a tree to what me. What is going on? He wants to snipe the mid courier. He wants to snipe a courier. Well, at least for now, he's leaving XXS on his own devices. It is a plus five Grim, which isn't the strongest. Let's uh, hold that for now. Yeah, Inkswell will Inkswell. eventually stun XXS. And more damage on top. He gets a hoof stomp off, but it's not nearly enough. So first blood goes Wave Lou on the Wind Runner. Azure Ray have a great lane positioning here. I think Jin Q needs. To, he's killing the courier. Okay, fine. <laughs> he got it. Next excess. Not gonna be able to finish the job, but still quite a bit of damage. So nicely done. Yeah. There is. I mean, looks like XXS is doing okay. Not a courier sniped. So that's the third one of the game. I mean, courier kills are honestly no joke. Did Brown they? pinged him. Oh, he's in the base. Okay. He's smiling. It's being pinged. Wait, and what the? Uh, maybe that's their own team pinging. Dude, Brown pinged him. He called it out. Right, he's now a courier. Someone is not listening to Brown. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah, he is. I mean, it was just the first blood, really. Is another courier sniped <laughs> by Jin Q. He We're is up to uh, really committed to this role. <laughs> <laughs> We're up to five or six now. It's okay. You got all the couriers. Yeah. Uh, more important than the wisdom runes, I'm sure. Okay, so Tianming did make his way down bottom. I think that makes sense. Ame taking pressure. Silence. Inkswell. Yep, keep casting. You're doing great. Finish the I'm job. I'm finished. Time Where's walk. the avalanche? Gets most of the HP back. He's going to get a Chronosphere. DTF is back for DY. Ready to put all the pressure onto the Tiny. But the avalanche comes out and Ame stampede. is in a bit of trouble. But the Stampede is going to help him disengage completely. As DY will get out of dodge as well. His... Uh, yeah, Ooh, the ghost! Okay, one of them dies. He could... Yeah, I think he should even run one Illo to the top. I think that's a good point. As the two supports here are together. Jin Q for once may hit a hero. Another courier coming. Oh. This one is killed as FY gets the Avatar. Silence oh, there's the Dawnbreaker. Oh, oh Ami comes up. with a nice time dilation on a three. Boundless Strike connects as well as DY and company focusing down one member of Azure Ray. That's all they get uh, for the Grim, they, but... But Ori in the meantime makes great use of that as the mid tower is nearly dead. Yeah, not too shabby. And it will be Who's dead. Get the question is, will they get the deny? Yeah, XM is going to be pressured by FY. Avalanche Stunned. into the Dragon Tail. Easy kill. The Stampede not going to help in this situation. Because he's flying in the air already. There's a mid tower down, working on the Mage Slayer. He understands this. He's going to back off. So very nice oh, rotation. Courier cam again. He got and it. And another courier. That's oh my god, that's a full Maelstrom. That's basically. a Maelstrom gone. Wow. Now that actually matters a lot. I he will never stop doing this, will he? Let's see how the game goes first, yeah, but well, I'm, I'm with you. Well, but uh, even if they, they, whether they win or lose, at this oh, point... Oh, he has an Invis rune, he's oh killing him. Oh! Dragon Tail! Tip him, tip Jim him. Q finally punished! <laughs> finally! And a measly 300 gold, which is like one and a half couriers. He's literally level two. So I will be pretty sad if I'm the Grimstroke in the next 10 minutes, if no one buys a Blink Dagger for me, because I think they should look to speed up the game a little bit. You're playing against Lina, you're playing against Void, they're just free farming. You know, they're, like, they're, they're just chilling. And Ame is going to get Dragon Donald, Tail. Silence. Solar Guardian's coming. A nice silence as well. And Ame destroyed. That's Fine, it feels like the first good kill for Azure. I yep. know they're up 4 too, but it doesn't feel like it with these this massacre of couriers he that was a seeing. little. And you just... Ooh. Okay. He, he did the, the right dragon. skill build too. Oh, the DD rune does dodge the power shot. I mean, he's definitely inflicted some mental damage. Not oh. high, like not a lot, but... Yep, as the stop initiation onto the DK. Extremely low. The He's still going to be able to get the double silence uh -oh. off there. The focus fire's there as well. XM punished, and so is XXS. Azure Ray was ready for this. They're going to get DY as well. And that is the best fight of the game easily for Azure Ray. It's the only thing Azure Ray could do right now is farm and counterplay you with uh, Dawnbreaker ulti. Oh, XXS getting close to a Shiva. Which is, of course, oh, a banger of an item. Ganked here. Bach is there with the full combo. Shackle. Ooh. But Hand he's of out of there. And they're going to turn this around with XM getting a nice Laguna Blade onto Faith Beyond, Ooh. who's also barely going to live. Chronos Beyond the three. Perfect placement. Oh, Beautiful my song. God. It literally could not have been any better than that. And they're going to get three off the back of just a gorgeous, gorgeous Chronosphere. Make it four now. And just like that, those courier kills mean something again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just goes to shit. Yeah, it happens. As Aegis will go to Ame. 
He has BKB soon. He has Aegis. There are three cores at top network. And I, I really think if Azure Ray want to do well in this game, they need to like fight back. And it looks like they're not. Yeah, DK is in a dead. lot of trouble. It's a lot of magic damage to get through, but the heal for oh. the Solar Guardian from Faith Beyond. Going to try to turn this around. Good Solar Bind as well. Oh. Ame again the chrono? with an amazing Chronosphere onto three heroes. Just, I don't know how you get such perfect placement twice in a row. And now Lou looks to be dead. Time lock activated. And another death for Azure Ray. They lose four, but at least they get the Courier Killer. I mean, the fact that it's, I don't know if it makes it worse that it's people that you play against all the time. Yeah. Because does this mean they haven't shown this before? I don't think they've Surely shown they this. would have been prepared, right? Well, they probably have not shown this, as Bach looks to be dead. Yep, they got the double stun into the double edge, into the kill. XXS now with the Eternal Shroud, by the way, so. This Centaur tanky. doesn't die. Trey has a very low win rate on Dawnbreaker. <laughs> Pipe now picked up for Chen. the side of Extreme. Mr. XXS, XXS trying to hunt. FY will be spotted. Inkswell upon him now as Ame uh -oh. looking for another amazing Chronosphere. He's going to get silenced first. Now he's going to try to focus on the Grim Stroke. Or he's there with the Dragon Tail. LSA is coming. Solar Guardian coming in as well. Dodge. Jin Q oh. with a very powerful Wukong's command. All those couriers killed for this. And now Ori stuck inside. Will die. Three for nothing. And just look at the HP on everyone for extreme. No one is even low, and oh, they haven't even used called. Hand of Gaben yet. GG called. I can't blame him. This was quite the game. I can't blame him either. Literally, this performance alone from Jin Q, it's, um, I mean, okay, let's let's take that apart. Even apart from him, you have Ame who hit, like, God Chronos, what, four times in a row? XXS who 1v2s the top lane and has free farm. Uh, I think this was a pretty funny game for Extreme Gaming. But I think when you have this draft of Timber, TA, Konka, you want to be ahead, you want to do well in the lanes, get the early Roach, and then play from there. So it's kind of a requirement already. Looks like XM in the first wave, doing very well. How does this matchup typically go? Uh, farm. Uh, farm, farm, top farm. lane. Okay, that is unexpected. Ame killed really early. He must have, beyond Timber. maybe there was a combo play. Double bracer so far for Kunkka. Yeah. It's all tanky. Wait, do we see Blade now? Is that part of the build? We used to uh, see it at bottom, bottom lane. A lot of pressure on low. Of Stomp. Blue will get off the refraction. Still getting mana drained, of course. Blood grenade Ooh, from Jin Q. More double edges to come, I'm sure. There it is. One more He's impale. Dead. And Jin Q gets credit for it. Nice kill for Extreme. Very nicely done. I think low had to respect that a bit more. I mean, surely there's going to be a point here as some more contests here. Oh, oh Ori's here yeah, in this. Ori. They're going to have to settle for Jin Q. Definitely not the main target. He's going to screw up the whole combo, but they should be able to finish off the line regardless. And they do. Ame dodging the Venge a bit. I mean, anything that allows Ame to stay up here. So, like, now the main focus of this rotation from Ori is to kick out Ame, but they have gotten through that by basically sacrificing Jin Q. Looks like Ami will be allowed to stay here, forced to pop the ulti. Yep, Shadow Dance in a defensive measure. Meanwhile, mid lane, first boat of the game, provides that nice buff for Ori. Good dodge from XM. Remnant in, but the magic missile is going to hold him in place. Slide. X as well. Remnant coming up. Does he time it correctly? He does, but Slide of Fish oh. just off oh, cooldown. He the gets the Searing Chains, dies shortly after, but he gets the XP. So a one for one in just that mid lane, but we can see Faith Beyond actually got taken out by Ame. Nine of them care really too much, but I think once XM does have this Mage Slayer on Ember, he'll start feeling a lot better in this game. He's down bottom, might be a little yep. swap Getting action. ready for a swap. X is there with the boat coming in. XXS, very oh, tanky, missing. will stampede away. Another missed time there. And now Jin Q trying to turn this around. Oh, it's Searing Chains on all three heroes. XM going in very deep. Blast off connects onto uh -oh. two. Taser as well. Ori is dead. Lou is next. Oh, and Extreme oh, Gaming decapitate Azure Ray in this bot lane. Three for nothing. Jin Q leading the way. No fear in his eyes. He leveled up from all those courier kills in the he last did. game. Now he's right. 
ready to play actual Dota. Uh-oh, Mr. Low. Yep, Searing Chains is there. Stampede comes out. XXS is in the area, and they have the vision. Down goes TA for a second time. Very, very nice move. Also, they popped the Stampede before the Remnant, so the Remnant has Giga Speed. This seems to be the new build, by the way, on TA. I've seen it a few times now, the Maelstrom. So earlier we had GPK. He didn't go Deso. He went just like Dragonlance Blink. But I think it was Mickey from Liquid who also did the Maelstrom. So I'm not too much of an expert. I have not tried it. But it seems to be the new flavor as oh. XXS. Yep, will die Lasso coming out. XXS will be punished. Yeah, Still that a one great was item. A, that was an insta buy. Yeah, that one was literally an insta buy on any hero. So, of course, when you make Solar Wars, you make Pavis a little less nice to buy, too. Uh huh. Some remnant in. Yep, Searing Chains onto two. Finger of Death demolishes. The Vengeful Spirit, Lasso coming down the outskirts. This is a very tanky Centaur. Oh, Pops the Stampede. Nice chain. And Faith Beyond, he's likely to drop here. He does indeed. Buy back on the Vengeful Spirit, though. TP's in to try to maintain this fight, but I think it's over. His extreme take it two to nothing, yeah. and a tier one to boot. Because I don't, I don't know. I think it won't land because they're not. They're technically hidden. I don't think it should take them. I mean, I don't know if that's true because you can cast spells on them. It's not like an astral. You can cast AOE on them. Yeah. Yeah. I am actually going to go out on a limb and say that I think that would work. Okay. As XXS. He we'll thinks stampede. that... The, oh. oh, Hoof Stomp is there as Again. well. Again. We're seeing the benefit of that change to Hoof Stomp being able to move. And let's see if Extreme can try to turn this around uh -oh. as Faith Beyond is greeted by XM. There's a lot of has stuff the coming. Searing Chains. Jin Q and the rest of the team are surrounding him. Blast Off comes through, but a nice swap. Keep Bach alive, but the Hoof Stomp oh, connects good stomp. onto three heroes. Double Edge hits two, and now... Azure Ray trying to run away. XM's going to finish off the Venge. Bach is next. And this is just disaster town for Azure Ray. Ori with absolutely no mana Boom. will be brought down as well. It's a zero for four. And, I mean, they almost got the kill initially, but the fact yeah. that they didn't get it. Yep, scan does uh, show that they're in the area, so this is not going to be a surprise to Azure Ray. Yeah. Ori actually hiding oh, behind no. the trees. They're trying to... Mm -hmm. Get some sort of a counter initiation, FY. Okay, Wisdom Rune is what they're kind of baiting here. Hoof Stomp to start things Good out, swap. but a nice swap to save him for the time being. And the Kanka is getting decimated. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're all three dead. Blue drops, FY as well. Just like in the blink of an eye, three dead. Finger of Death gets the fourth. Tormentor, the way of Azure Ray as well. And Extreme are, it just feels like they're on another level. They are. I mean, just nowadays, you can do more with spells, so it, it does make sense. It means that worse Roche lineups aren't actually as bad. You just start throwing all your mana at it. Hmm. That's a kind of an old-school item. Yeah. I wonder what the made X him... marks trying to disrupt that, perhaps? Yeah, like maybe disrupt some combos, maybe build it into a Wind Waker later, because you feel like Azure Ray rely on killing one hero. That's Tian Ming. Yep, he is mega dead. Hoof Stomp connects onto the TA. They're going to use Stampede to try to counteract the initiation from FY. He's dead too. And they'll be successful, so two for nothing again. Call it Water Park, please, not Water Works. The Water Park yes. is available. Thank you. There's the X mark. Yeah, X mark back. Can they? If they can burn through the ages, that'd be pretty big. But instead, counter initiation from XM gets the searing chains onto two. There's the water park. Doing nothing. Finger not quite enough onto Lu, and Jin Q will die. So a good kill from Azure. They're gonna need to get more than that. Oh, that's a lot of damage mm. from Faith Beyond, but a beautiful has done for XM. Not enough to actually save his Ember. Oh, they're and now all he's gonna get swapped after the TP. So that'll cancel that. He yeah, just like that, it's a three for nothing for Azure Ray. They dropped the gem as well. Did XM not have his use to get out of the X mark? I think if they can have one or two more good moves where maybe it catapults low to getting... I mean, I guess he has his BKB pretty much completed. One more creep wave. So good things are actually happening for Azure Ray. They were very weak like throughout the last five, six, seven minutes. Whoa. Ooh, that's a lot of Fabian damage. Fabian straight in there. Yeah, there's the lasso. They're going to be able to take out Jin Q. But can they... Do anything about this initiation coming from Extreme Gaming. Boat comes out, Water so the buff on the majority of Azure Ray. Looks like the Venge is going to be the first to fall on their side. And XM getting Searing Chains onto two heroes, but now he's all alone. Remnant is there, though. Can't get to the other side at any point. Another Searing Chains coming through. XXS in the area as well, trying to oh. dodge out the Shivas with all the damage from Faith Beyond. More than enough to take out XM. And Ame pouncing, but not able to get the connection. Instead, he's going to take damage from Faith Beyond. As Ame, this is the Aegis. 
Now consumed. Still has ultimate, should be okay. And it looks like Extreme are gonna back away. So another good fight. But my eyes are on FY right now. I wanna see the usage of this Aghanims. Yeah, hopefully we get to see the interaction. Yeah, of course. With Depth Shroud, which was just picked up, by the way. That's the most important part of this entire game. And Lou, uh -oh. Oh, he's gonna break the smoke, gets his refraction off just in time, but Hoofstom actually hits on two, or he will get the water park off the swap, gonna keep Lou alive. Now he pops his BKB, might need to run away, he gets four step to the high ground. That's where Faith Beyond is waiting, XM has made his way over as well. The Venge is the first to fall on the side of oh, Azure, Ray Hoofstom interrupts the chain, and a nice combo there from Jin Q to burst down Mr. Faith Beyond, his former teammate. Another smoke comes out from Azure, right? So it just shows the importance of this eventual Roche off. Yep. 15 seconds to go. DY spotted, already brought the half HP. Faith Beyond, though, will take a pounce for his efforts. Ooh, XXS BKB. gets off the hoof stomp onto the Ori Kunkka. Faith Beyond already uses his BKB. They're going to be able to kill off DY, who buys back instantly. Magic Missile applied to the Centaur, but he's going to brush it off with the BKB of his own. XM continuing the pressure as FY is dead. And now Lou, left to his own devices, drops as well. And that means the rest of Azure have to get out. Second Roche, Aegis, Banner, Disperser completed. Yeah, they, uh, they're they pretty happy right now. I, I would love to see the play. I'm going, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Axe now on Ember. the Ember. Actually, so a good Aghanims, oh, a, a tier. Yeah, it's very good. Okay, he's gonna get the uh, Shivas as well. Dead. Ame is very deep. Yeah, just like you said, FY already dead before the fight even starts as Lou getting chased under oh his God. own fountain. Will he get out? He actually looks like he will survive. It's the buyback now from the Ventral Spear, but now the finger from Jin Q deletes Lou. <laughs> and just like that, oh no. it's There's now a five room. versus three. I mean, at this stage, if I was XXS, I'd go mid already because you're not providing any help. You should tank the tier fours, I think. Yeah, or just double up on the tier fours. Yeah. It's always fun. Looks like there will not be. Like, oh, let's see. I'm just gonna let XXS do the dirty work for now. Yeah, they're chipping away to get these megas. TA is gonna be back now, though. XXS will help secure the range. Okay, we're gonna see the tidal wave, but the searing chains. Oh, double lasso, maybe. Yeah, we'll see. One man. No, one lasso. That's on XXS, not the target you want to try to focus. Very tanky indeed, as the Torrent Storm is out as well. XM, he yules himself, he's in a bit of trouble, gets a slight of fist off as the rest of his team secures Mega Creeps, and the BKB will help him secure his own life as he runs away. Mm. And there's the GG's called, no big surprise. Yep. This game was over quite a while ago. No, I must Extreme say, take it 2-0. Yeah, Extreme just... I don't really know what to say other than they just look solid. I like their drafts. I think they understand what they need to do. Maybe brought down to earth a bit. Their opponents early on were yeah. OG and Nouns. Both were winless yep. at that point. But Extreme, they look incredible.